Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and I got something really special for you here today. This is a preview of a laptop that's not yet released. It's coming in December of this year, and this one is the HP EliteBook X. Now, you know I love the EliteBook line through the years, and this thing has been pretty amazing, and I've been using this for the last couple of weeks, and all I can say is, wow, this thing has blown me away. Now, this is running AMD's brand new processor, the Ryzen AI9 HX Pro, and this will have some really great graphics on here, integrated graphics, and the processing performance, all I can say is, stay tuned, it's gonna be really good. I can't give you the numbers, but I can tell you that this thing is a beast, and I can't wait to do my full review, which of course will be a coming once this is actually released. But what I can tell you is this does have a 14 inch OLED display. It's a 2.8K resolution. It's got a touch display here and it's got 120 hertz or variable refresh rate so smooth scrolling very fluid experience it's got one of the best keyboards i've used in a very long time great key travel tactility overall feedback it's got a lot of ai features up to 55 tops as we know so this thing is going to be a beast in every sense of the word now very little screen wobble a tremendous all metal design first rate in terms of the build. It's got a glass precision touchpad, not a haptic touchpad, but it is a glass precision touchpad. It's worked really well, very responsive, great port selection here. And overall, I've been absolutely blown away by this. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the preview of the HP EliteBook X, the G1A, all new, coming soon, here in 2024. Coming up. You know the drill, folks. Let's get this out of the box. All right, so this is gonna be the AMD Ryzen AI 9 Pro, the HX375. Again, I have to see it. It's part of the 300 series. Again, I don't know. This is a pre-production unit. One caveat, I will not be able to show any benchmarks just yet, you'll have to wait for a full review. That will be coming soon. This is a pre-production unit, and one of the stipulations is I can't show you any benchmarks, but we can take a look at this very nice design, and right now, I can tell you it looks really good. Uh, let's see if we could do the one-handed test. Of course, we can. There you can go and see that. And as you can see here, this is a pretty nice keyboard, and it feels great in terms of the key travel. That is pretty nice. Let's give a listen to the keyboard. Sounds really good, feels really great to type on. This looks like a traditional style glass precision type touchpad. So we'll test all that out to some AI branding, elite book branding, and of course we'll take a look at it all. But a little bit thicker than the uh, previous model that we saw, this is not a 360 or convertible, this is a clamshell, and you can see here that it does have a glossy display. Now I think this one is an OLED display, we'll check that out but really good. Now let's uh, get a measurement of the weight. Okay, so with just the unit alone, you're looking at 1.516 kilograms and that is three pounds, 5.5 ounces. So a little bit of weight on that, okay. And then we can take a look at it with the power charger, power cord, 1.803 kilograms. And that comes out to three pounds, 15.6 ounces, all in for a total travel weight. Okay, let's check out the port selection and let's start off on the left side where you get an HDMI 2.1 port. Next to that is a USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2. And next to that looks like a USB 4.0 Thunderbolt 4 port, I would imagine, and we'll test that out. Again, they've been now licensing it to these laptops now, so this might be one of those that does have the Thunderbolt support. Of course, it should work anyway, but we'll test it out. It does have the Thunderbolt lightning bolt there, so that does indicate that, so we'll test that out. And a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack. And moving over to the right side is a second Thunderbolt 4 
port, it looks like. And then you get a USB type A and a Kensington lock. So good to see that the USB C ports are split up. You got two on the left, one on the right. Two of them, of course, are going to be Thunderbolt, it seems. And of course, the only thing missing here would be an SD card reader. We don't get that on here, but I would say all in all for the segment, I think it's a pretty good port selection here. Actually, really good. And here's a close up of the keyboard. We have the Copilot key here now. Of course, the power button will double as a fingerprint scanner, and it has dark keys, so it should be good for the lighting as far as contrast with the backlight. Should have no problem using this in a dimly lit cabin on an airplane or a dark room. So good to get worked on on this. And again, like I said, the key travels right off the bat. Initial impressions, really good. Tactility is really good. So this should be a pleasure to type on. So I'm looking forward to testing that out. Now, while this is booting up, the build quality is really rock solid here. I mean, this is a really nice all metal design. The lid is pretty nice. And I like the silver here. That's going to show a minimal amount of fingerprints. And let's see, warning, your system is not fully configured. Please contact HP. Warning, the, this BIOS is not for production. So again, like I said, pre-production unit here. I'll have to be careful with what I show. But again, no benchmarks, but I can give you an overall look at this. And so far, the build on this is really spectacular. Now, one thing to note, this does have a touch layer on this OLED display. By the way, 2.8K OLED, gorgeous. We'll take a look at the refresh rate in a moment. But yes, you, as you can see here, this is a touch display. I like it. I also like the fact that you're getting some really thin bezels here. Overall, pretty good look here. All right, it's asking me to set up the Windows Hello feature. This is an IR camera. And by the way, there is a physical shutter switch above the camera, love that. So let's get this set up. Now we're all booted up here. And as you can see, this is an OLED display. It's a very bright display. I can tell you the right off the bat. Again, I'll have to do measurements, of course, when I do the full review. But I would say that this one is really good. Now it is glossy. So with the OLED displays, we've noticed this glossy display here. It is a touch display. Now, no pen support that I can see here, but really good touch layer on here. So pretty nice there. Now, the display goes as far back as you see here. So it's a pretty good amount that it does go back and it gives you a pretty nice viewing angle. And the other thing is minimal, minimal screen wobble. So that's good. This is great. When you're typing, this is not going to move hardly at all. So uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing here so far. So this is running a Pro Series processor from AMD. This is the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX Pro 375. So again, the naming is a little long, but it does tell you that this is the Pro version. A lot of security features. We've got HP Wolf security here. So those familiar with that will like that. And then of course, uh, 890 M graphics. So this should give you a really good performance in terms of the graphics. You've got 32 gigabytes of RAM on here. We've got an NPU, I think up to 55 tops is what HP and AMD are touting on this. Again, I'll double check all that. Again, I'll have to run the benchmarks and all that, but I have to wait, of course, until that full review to give you the numbers. But as an overall initial look at this, I love the build. I This is a stunning looking laptop to me. Simplicity at, at its best. This will look, which, this will compete with a MacBook Pro in a lot of ways. So uh, the build is top notch. Now we got some grills here. We'll test our speakers. We'll test all that out. The display is simply stunning. It's an OLED 2.8K 2880 by 1800. And yes, it is a 120 hertz. It's got a variable refresh rate, so you can switch it up. And having the 120 hertz means very smooth, very fluid experience. So pretty good. And as you can see here, a really nice lid on it. Very nice in terms of the hinges here. Really overall great looking laptop. There is no doubt about it. So we're looking at a five megapixel camera and also the Poly Camera Pro, which is a really great camera app, especially if you're gonna do video conferencing and so forth. I'm um, using the default Windows app here. This is a uh, 2K resolution. It's a five megapixel camera, as I mentioned. It's an IR camera. That means you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. There is a physical shutter switch above the camera for more security and privacy. I like that. Uh, what do you think about the video quality? Quality and what do you think about the audio quality? Let me know in the comment section below because it does have the MPU, which handles a lot of this. Of course, the AI effects and all that, the auto framing, the background blur, the filters, all that are handled by the NPU. So again, what do you think about this overall? Let me know. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below 
Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. And don't forget to check out my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.